The Greater Manchester Primary Care Passport is a collection of passports that enable staff in primary care to keep a digital record of the workforce training that they have completed. The passports help to promote a sustainable and thriving primary care workforce across Greater Manchester. Locally, we have an ambition not only to look after our workforce, but to grow our own workforce through career progression and personal development. To understand what the passport is, how it can help you and how to access it, please listen on. My name's Sati and I've been proud to lead the non-clinical workforce programme across Greater Manchester. I'm passionate about the development of this workforce and my hope is that through the programme we are able to support this workforce to gain parity of esteem with their wider primary care colleagues and enable them to access training and career progression. I've been working since March 22 with a wide range of people across Greater Manchester and I'd like to commend all of their contributions and the commitment they've had to making this a truly collaborative piece of work. The programme aims to promote a foundation standard for non-clinical roles in general practice. It's based on a generic pathway from new entrant through to senior management and partnership roles. We've sectioned the training within the passport so that it supports the different levels within the pathway. We've also created a set of standardised job descriptions to support the roles in the pathway so that we can promote a foundation set of skills and competencies across Greater Manchester. Each member of staff that enrols on the programme will be given a digital passport. This provides links to training to support core skills and competencies as well as continuing professional development. Additional links to resources are provided so that staff can tailor their learning and development to their individual and organisational needs. It's not therefore intended to provide a definitive list of training required for an individual role, but you can use it as a resource to support your appraisal and personal development planning in discussion with your line manager. I would encourage all non-clinical staff in general practice to get one of the passports and I would encourage all managers to encourage your staff to get the passports. Having a passport that clearly shows your training opportunities and your training progress and can help you set a very clear plan as far as your CPD goes um, has to be a really valuable tool. Um, it will link the statutory mandatory training and, and update the manager if there's anything outstanding or when they're coming up for review. So it's a really good tool for us to use in um, thinking about CQC preparation. Um, but just for the individual, having a passport, being able to take some ownership of your own training and development needs, seeing what opportunities are available out there in regards to training and having to think about what skills you might want to enhance and, and doing that in collaboration with your manager through your appraisal. Um, will be really valuable to people on those frontline teams. The personalised care Archville, social prescribing link workers, care coordinators and health and wellbeing coaches are a relatively new workforce in general practice and the passport will support these roles in being viewed as an integral part of primary care. I'm delighted by the opportunity for these roles to access such a rich myriad of training and professional development opportunities which will support further career progression, which up till now have been very limited. Embedding personalised care as a section on its own really highlights how important it is for all of our workforce to gain skills and knowledge on how we embed and implement a personalised care approach and how we interact with people and patients, both holistically and putting the person at the centre. I have no doubt that this resource will be very welcomed. So how do you get a non-clinical workforce passport? And once you have one, how do you access it? The first step is to enrol on the non-clinical workforce program at the URL shown on screen. Fill out the form by adding your own contact details, along with information about the organization that you work for and your non-clinical workforce role. Finally, please consent to the personal data that you've shared about yourself being held by the Greater Manchester Primary Care Program and select whether you would like to receive email. Click the submit button at the end of the form to view an on-screen notification about your successful enrolment. You will also receive an email confirmation in your inbox. The second step is to log in at the URL shown on the screen using the username and password that you chose during enrolment. Once you are logged in, you will see your non-clinical workforce passport giving you access to all of the training it contains. If you encounter problems enrolling on the non-clinical workforce programme, 
please get in touch with us by email to workforce at gmprimarycare.org.uk.